Today we are going to be working on a Windows 8 video where we're going to show you how to make it more like Windows 7, add a start menu, and have it load not in the Metro UI, but in the uh, at the desktop. This is what you see here. So let's dive right in, shall we? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to disable the Metro UI. And, and it, for those of you who don't uh, know what that is, um, it's... Uh, let me just load up the start menu here. That This is what actually comes up when you boot any Windows 8 machine. Most people are super uh, uh, annoyed by this. They actually don't want it. So um, they would actually rather um, see the desktop. And if I can get Windows 8 to participate in giving me what I want, then uh, yeah. So we're going to go to search. And we're going to go to desktop, which is more like Windows 7. The first thing we're going to do is go back to the charms menu, which is this side menu. We're going to hit search. We're going to change this to settings and type in scheduler or schedule. And we're going to schedule tasks. And what we're going to basically do is tell this on startup to trigger the explore.exe. So it's going to actually trigger this task. So we're going to come over here, create a new task. We're going to call it desktop on startup. And we are going to change this to Windows 8. Down here, configure for Windows 8. That's important. We're going to triggers. We're going to hit new. Oh, Windows 8, you're so responsive. And we're going to say on log on, or startup maybe, and yeah, log on, I guess it's fine. Any user, it's fine. Hit OK. We're going to go to actions, and hit new. And here, uh, you can browse for this. You go to hit browse, and it'll open up, and you want to click Windows, and then scroll down to um, Explorer, which is right here, and hit open. And hit OK. And hit OK. And you're done. That will actually, uh, we can actually trigger this to do a reboot. So to do a reboot in Windows 8, you actually go to Settings, Power, and Restart. And we're going to go ahead and restart it and just see if our task actually works. And yes, it worked. So that's nice. So what it does is it loads up into the desktop and it loads. This is the Explorer. This is what you're looking at, which is essentially like my computer, sort of. It's, it's just your Windows Explorer. So fantastic. The Metro UI does pop up, but eventually it runs that task and then gets rid of it. Second part of this video, we're going to actually um, show you how to go ahead and add a start menu to Windows 8. Inherently, Windows 8 does not have a start menu. Why? I don't know. Um, it's a good idea to have one. So, uh, there's a third-party piece of software out there called Pokey. Uh, P-O-K-K-I dot com. Uh, just load up your Windows uh, Internet Explorer, Chrome, whatever it is. Go ahead and go to P-O-K-K-I dot com and click on the download link. Run this. And it's free, you know, it's a third party piece of software that makes this actually happen, but it's free, which is nice. I'm going to say, go ahead and use Pokey as my start menu, that's fine. And as you can see now, we actually have a little home button down here. And go ahead and click on it, and voila, we actually have our start menu back. So now with these two components installed, it's more like Windows 7, it's more like what you're used to, which is. Uh, essentially our goal with our clients we're trying to figure out because they can't go out and buy a Windows 7 machine anymore thanks Microsoft for coming out with a really terrible operating system and then sunsetting and basically eliminating the best operating system you've ever created which is Windows 7 and um, so what we're trying to do is basically make it look more and feel more like that um, you know you have access to all your applications 
right here. You have your control panel right here, your favorites right here, and you can add, and you can actually, um, there's PC apps that, that, this is how they make their money. Pokey actually, you know, not that you're buying these apps, but they're going to, you know, probably advertise to you and whatnot. It's worth it though, I think, in my opinion. Um, and if you want your Metro UI back, then you go ahead and click that four star button and go around, go that route. Um, the other way you can get to the Windows desktop from the Metro UI, which is uh, pretty easy, is to hit the Windows key and the D key at, at the same time. And what that does is that immediately shows you your your desktop. Um, so in this case, I'm working on a virtual machine that's actually running off of an Apple computer, and I don't have a Windows key, so I can't do that. But now I'm back here, and I'm using I'm using it, man. This is great. So. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Again, please like, please subscribe, please comment, please ask any questions. I'll be doing a series of Windows 8 tutorials. Thank you so much. Have a great day.